Hey guys, what's up? Tyler here. In today's video, I'm talking to you guys about my first impressions with the HP 11 inch Chromebook. And this is the newest generation of Chromebook. And I've never used a Chromebook before. And this one was sent to me uh, for review uh, from a company called Expo. They kind of help out companies who want to get some video reviews on their products. And so a big thanks to them for sending this out for review. Um, but this is my first impressions video. And my first impressions about a Chromebook in general, because I've never even used one of these things, let alone, you know, owned one. And so I was excited to see that I had a Chromebook in a box when I was uh, that was waiting for me whenever I got home. A Chromebook, if you don't know, or a Chrome OS, is a very stripped down version of an OS for a computer. It's basically Google Chrome for a computer. And it can run any apps that can run on Google Chrome. Now, this is to my knowledge, I'm not 100% versed in it. Uh, it can run... Um, like Netflix apps, it can run. I have an app called Neuron Drive. I think it's one that I use for coding and stuff like that. And um, Google Sheets, um, Google, pretty much all your Google Docs, Google Calendar. And so if you have any good suggestions for Chromebook apps, let me know down in the comment section below because I need to find some good ones to use with this, uh, I want to call it a computer, but it's not really, it's kind of com a computer, um, but it's a Chromebook. It's a Chromebook. Let me know of, of any good apps to use with this Chromebook down in the comments section below. My first impressions upon opening this, I think it looks really nice. I like the white um, and it's really light. It's only like three pounds and it has plenty of USB ports. Good job, HP. You're doing better than Apple with one port. Um, that's, that's a whole different video. I already made that video. Um, it has a micro SD card slot. Wish there was a regular SD card slot, HDMI out, power and a headphone jack. And that's really all you need for something like a Chromebook. You don't need 15,000 USB ports. Um, and as soon as I open it up, it's already ready to go. As you can see, I was looking up some Qatar tabs and it's already ready to go. It doesn't have to load or anything. And this is touchscreen. And so that's really cool as well. I like the fact that it was touchscreen. It's pretty accurate, I would say. And it's a 1080p display, which looks really nice. But the only issue I have with this 1080p display is that it seems a little bit washed out. Um, like the the LED behind it is just a little bit too bright. And I find that some of the colors don't look as vibrant as they should unless you're really like getting the right angle. And maybe if they could like let me extend the laptop, the laptop, the Chromebook a little bit more, like this is all the further I can extend it back. If I could extend it back a little bit more, I think I'd get a better viewing angle. Um, but it's still nice. It's a 1080p screen. Uh, it just doesn't look as vibrant that I, as I'd like to see in a screen for a computer or a laptop or a Chromebook as this is. And... There's things about this Chromebook that I want to use that I use on Windows that can't be done. Like right clicking, there is, there is no right clicking on the desktop because I'm trying to right click in a, on a link to open as a new tab because I do that a lot on my computer. Um, but you can't do that on here. And I found that right clicking is kind of like double tapping and then it's right clicking, which doesn't make sense to me. Like this is all one bottom bo button at the bottom. I wish it was a left and right. Um, but that's just one thing I'd see. And I don't know if that's a Chrome OS thing or if it's this HP, um, but I, that's one thing I really don't like. Um, so far, you know, we have a couple icons down at the bottom, but really all they do is open up links to um, the Google Chrome. And I was watching Good Mythical Morning. Check it out if you don't know that channel is. It's Retin Link, Good Mythical Morning. It's really good stuff. Um, but a lot of the links just open up Google Chrome and the app within Google Chrome. Um, I really haven't seen anything that's like a standalone app and so to my knowledge, everything opens in Google Chrome. And I really haven't been able to find PC settings. I don't know where they exist, if they exist at all. Um, I guess if I would double tap on the desktop, maybe it would tell me a little bit of something. Um, it just says auto hide shelf, shelf position, and set your wallpaper. Um, I'm guessing there's really no control pa panel. Uh, battery life has been pretty good. I charged it for a couple minutes and then I just used it for about a half hour or so before I had to charge it and plug it in again. Um, it wasn't dying, but just I wanted to get a quick charge that way I could see how it actually works. Um, the keyboard's nice. I think it, you know, it's, it's a nice chiclet keyboard, good feedback. But overall though, um, I like it. I don't know if it really has a use for me because I do a lot of editing like Photoshop, Adobe Premiere. And so I need something like my laptop I have right now that can run those actual programs and it runs Windows. But now Summer on the other hand, she doesn't have a laptop. Hers got busted. She's kind of using it for a desktop because the screen got messed up. Um, but she really likes this and she doesn't need to worry about Photoshop or anything like that. And so she's just been using it just to browse and that's really all she does a lot on the computer. And if she needs to write up a document, she can on Google Docs. And so she's probably gonna be really using it and testing it as it should be. I'm just kind of seeing, you know, how does it work? Does it work well? And could it really substitute a regular laptop? 
uh, for Summer's case, it probably will, but you'll have to wait and see for the four of you to see what she thinks and to see what I think. But my first impressions of a Chromebook is that it runs nice and you know it might be a little bit pricey. This thing's like 400 some bucks. I'll put a link to the direct one down in the description below. You can check it out. Uh, I think they're a little bit pricey for what they do and what they offer, um, but they might be after that certain market segment that just wants something quick and just browses and that's what all it does. Um, but I don't know, we'll see. And so that's been my Chromebook first impressions. Let me know what you guys think about the HP 11 or 11 inch. This is 14 inches Chromebook down in the comment section below. Do you own a Chromebook? What do you think of it? Do you like it? Do you think they're a bad product? Um, do you think they're even worth looking at in terms of getting a mobile, a really mobile laptop? Um, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. And that's gonna do it for this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Leave it a like if you did and also subscribe for more videos from me and check out all the social links there all down in the description below. And so thanks again for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.